Uh, our goal uh, this time is to export names of all, all the tables and the columns from this Power BI desktop file into a CSV file. Uh, for that, we are going to use uh, Visual Studio. Now, in Visual Studio, first we have to create a new project. And we're going to select Console App. Next. In this dialog, we will accept all default values, but we have to be uh, wary of this uh, folder. Now, this uh, folder is where our project will be saved. And uh, I had a problem where my uh, antivirus program, Avast, was blocking uh, execution of this console app. And because of that, you have maybe to add uh, this folder to exceptions uh, list uh, in your antivirus program. Now, I already did that, so I'm just going to click on Create. Uh, now that the main uh, window of Visual Studio is open, uh, first we have to add two references to uh, this list. Now, those two references uh, refer to uh, these two uh, DLL files. Now, these two DLL files are part of installation folder of Tabular Editor, uh, or you can just download them uh, from the Internet, or you can use sample files from the end of my uh, blog post. But we have to reference to these two files. So we go to Visual Studio. We right-click here in Solution Explorer on a References node, and we select Add Reference. Uh, we will choose uh, this file and uh, this file. Okay. Uh, now we have everything prepared. We are going to uh, delete all of this uh, template uh, code, and we will add our uh, code. Now, this code is really simple. We have a connection string. We create a server object. We connect to our server. Then we uh, take a model from this database in our uh, server. This code is for uh, writing down uh, our results into a file on the disk. And uh, this is one loop that goes through all of the tables. And for each table, it goes through all of its uh, columns. And it writes down uh, table name and uh, column name. And this is how result uh, looks like. So this is a CSV file that has uh, table names in first column and column names in uh, second uh, column. Now, one interesting uh, thing here is that it seems that this uh, column, row number, exists in every uh, table. That is probably some column that is used for internal work of uh, Power BI Desktop. 